Yeah, this, this kind of reflect a little bit, first of all, on, on your first year at UCF. I know you were primarily like a backup at Alabama, but you come here where you're a starter. Um, what what did you kind of learn last season, and, and maybe what did you what did you learn, and what were your favorite moments from last year? Um, I think last year I learned a lot about myself, like as a player, and just you know, just whenever something doesn't go right, like just flushing it, trying to get over it, moving on to the next play, and just proving to myself that I was the player that I thought I was, and then. I guess my favorite moment was probably the Oklahoma State game, uh, being able to beat those guys real good in the space game. That was really fun. Amari, you look at uh, this season, you guys got some some transfers coming in. You were in that familiar role as well. Um, and then you got some young guys coming in. How, well, how, what have you seen from that offensive line unit and, and what you guys have been able to do so far in spring? Um, with the transfers, I've seen a lot of guys that have come in. They played a lot of football. It's been easy for them to kind of pick up on the offense, and they showed a lot of good things. Um, and the young guys, Walt, He's been flashing a lot, making a lot of big plays. So it's been really good to see those guys progress and get better. Amari, last year, obviously, you know, first year in the Big 12 and all that, you guys were put in a position where a lot of, uh, let's just say the chatter, air quotes, was that you'd get pushed around. Now a year in, you kind of shown that you can hang with them. How much more confident does that make you going into this? How much better could this make you in the coming year? Um, I think coming into it, uh, it was a lot of, we were unsure, like, kind of how it was going to go, like, new conference and everything. We are just kind of fooling around and stuff. But we hung in there, uh, and I think we've gotten more confident from that. So uh, even just being out there, the energy's just different. Everybody's more confident, flying around. Uh, it's been something that's really been good to see, and I'm excited about it. How does a season that ends in a loss fuel you when spring ball starts? Um, it's definitely not something that you want to end the season on a loss, but I think it's something that we use as fuel, and it's carried over into the off season and even to now. Um, it's kind of driven us. And it's motivated guys, and we're, I'm seeing that a lot outside, and I'm really excited about it. Played the right side here last year. You played left tackle in Alabama, so in making that potential transition for UCF this season, what are the main differences or different points of emphasis here working with as you get ready for the season? Um, for me, I'm just trying to step into more of a leadership role and just be that guy that the young guys can count on, and that my teammates can count on, and just gaining their trust and. You know, just going out there and showcasing what I can do at any position that they put me in. Working with KJ Jefferson at quarterback, what have you seen there? What are some unique traits that he brings to the offense? Um, he's definitely you can definitely tell like he's played a lot of football and he's on he's picked up the offense really quick and he's been a leader on the offense and just I've never seen nobody like KJ before. Like he's just he's always dialed in and he's like such a big quarterback like. And he's really athletic for his size, so it's been good to see. And um, he's on that I've got, I've gained a lot of trust in over the past couple of practices. Amari, I know the defensive line that have been working out with MMA style training, with their hands and everything. What's that been like for you guys as offensive line? And have you noticed a difference in that? How has it kind of maybe affected how you guys prepare for those guys? Um, just being able to see how these guys have gotten better and they've progressed, and I think it just makes. Uh, us all around just better, and that competition just brings out the best in everybody. So it's been really fun being able to go against those guys. Amari, you mentioned trying to be more vocal, trying to be more of a leader. What qualities do you possess that make you believe you can fill that leadership role? Um, I just feel like uh, last season I've gained a lot of trust from my teammates and coaches, and just being able to be someone that those guys can look up to and ask questions, just be their coach on the field if they need me, and things like that. Um, I think that's something I can bring to the table. And how cool is it to have a quarterback that's big enough to throw blocks himself? Right. <laughs> it's something that's different for me, and I, uh, I really do appreciate that. Got a scrimmage on Saturday. What do you hope to show coaches during that? Um, just that I can be someone that they can trust and just show how much I've progressed since last season. And just, um, I'm just excited to compete, go out there and show what I can do. What did you think of uh, Tyler and Craig on this combine and show? Kyle had an amazing combine. Uh, just being able to go out there and run, what are you around four, four nine five? So yeah, um, that's incredible. And he's someone that I've been in contact with recently. Just whenever I can talk to him, just asking him for pointers and stuff. And I know he's busy and stuff, but whenever I do reach out to him, he does make sure that he makes time to talk to me. And stuff. So what's been the feedback you've been trying to get, or what's like the most important question you've tried to ask him? Um, I've just been asking like how his transition like to off the field stuff has been, and just like any pointers that he can give me, like at left tackle and stuff, because that's what he played last year. He played a lot of football, and I'll send him some film every now and then, and he can critique it and give me some feedback. Perfect.
What's your, what's your 40 time? I don't know. 